Hey everyone, it's Rob Lofreeze with Daily Classics. You know, each day I search hundreds of classified ads for affordable collectible cars that I call Daily Classics, mostly from the 1960s and up, and then handpick the best finds based on uniqueness, originality, condition, and price. To get all the details on the cars we find each day, please visit dailyclassics.org, which will take you to our Facebook group page, and please subscribe to this YouTube channel as well. Okay, let's get started with today's top picks for Sunday, January 28th, 2024. And we'll be discussing, and I'll blow this up, we'll be discussing a 1977 Fiat X19, We'll be also talking about a 1971 Porsche 914. And then our last car of this uh, YouTube channel tonight will be a 1978 Buick Electra 225. So let's get started on the first pick. The first pick is a beautiful 1977 Fiat X19 with 16,000 original miles. I found this car on Craigslist tonight. Uh, It's located north of Seattle, Washington. Uh, asking price is $14,500. If we look at the ad, there's not much I can fault on this car. The car looks very original. I love this gold color. Uh, The paint, the wheels, the windshield, the targa top, the bumpers, everything just looks absolutely amazing. Uh, Really in good shape. Um, You know, it's going to be hard to find something like this with just 16,000 miles out there. there's some X19s you see on the streets and you see them on, you know, for $8,000 here and there, but for 15,000, 14,500, this is a good deal, uh, I'm thinking anyway. Uh, this has a burgundy color interior, which I've never seen with gold with burgundy. Usually a gold color is with black or with a saddle color interior, but everywhere I look on this car, I can't fault it. Um, bumpers, everything looks really nice. The glass looks beautiful. He provides fantastic photographs of the car. I mean, look at this cargo bay area in the front. It's a mid-engine car, so you all know. Um, so this this almost looks brand new, you know. Um, I don't believe this car has been repainted because it would the cost to repaint this car in such detail like this would exceed the $14,500 asking price. Um, the engine, ba- the dashboard, everything looks beautiful. The engine bay looks extremely original, uh, which leads me to believe that this is an honest ad, um, a dealer is selling this car and it's uh, based in Seattle area. So I'm thinking overall, it's a great car. This car might actually be one of those cars you can buy if you can negotiate this car for $13,000. I'm thinking by the springtime of this year, sometime in April, May, you might even be able to get $20,000 for this car on Bring a Trailer. It's that nice. So highly recommended nice car to dive into it gives you the vehicle identification number which is cool too so again i'm assuming that this is an honest dealer and a good find so check it out um the second car we're going to be talking about um, another mid-engine car from the 70s and this is a porsche 914 this is a 914 four-cylinder 1.7 liter four uh the seller states it's a one-owner car seller also states it's original paint and he's asking fourteen thousand. it's also in the Seattle, Washington area. His asking price is about right, but there are very few photos um, that, you know, we can't look at the engine bay. Um, There's no interior photos of the car. And he does say in the ad that there's minimal rust, you know. But with similar year 911s, even 912s hovering over $70,000, I'm thinking the 914s, even with the four-cylinder engines, are a fun car to default to. Uh, if you can't afford a seventy thousand dollar nine eleven, matter of fact, I asked the group tonight if you had to choose between this car and the Fiat X one nine we found, which one would it be? You'll be curious to see what people say. If we get into the ad, um, the car looks like the surface of the car looks like it's faded. It does look like original paint. Um, again, no interior photos, no engine bay photos. It's not much to go on, with the exception that everything seems to be original. You know, the bumpers are original. The wheel covers are uh, originals. Um, Tail lights, target top. It all looks pretty, pretty cool. You know, it looks like it's uh, what he says it is. I mean, that's how they sit. They sit kind of low. Um, You know, it's it's like a go-kart, these these cars. They're really nice cars. So he says it was his father-in-law's daily driver until new, until a few years ago. And it's always been garage. So... I would love to see this car, um, you know, and find out more about it. I think it's worth 
the $14,000 that he's asking for. And, you know, if on the Daily Classics group page, if you go to the web uh, Facebook page, we do have a search tool. And if you go on there and search Porsche 914s, you'll see all the 914s that we found over the past couple of years. And these are good, uh, a good tool for references. You know, there's the one we found tonight. So you can do some research on the ones we found and, and it'll give you some descriptions just to help you, you know, gaze, you know, different types of pricing that's out there and all. The last car tonight we'll talk about real quick is a 1978 Buick Electra 225. We're going to move into the American uh, brands. Uh, this car was found, I believe, on Facebook Marketplace uh, right near my hometown, uh, Union, New Jersey. It's got the 403 uh, cubic inch engine uh, V8. That, that was an Oldsmobile engine that year. And it has 47,000 mileage, which is really, I believe it is to be true. The fifth generation C body, what we're looking at, ran from 77 to 84 and was all part of GM's downsizing. The car lost 11 inches in length and 800 pounds in weight. And the 403 V8 engine was about the top of the line that you can get. It was about 120, 125 horsepower around that mount. And that, <clears throat> that replaced the 455 V8 of the previous generation. Um, so this car has few photos and no real description. I thought the price of $9,500 was a little aspirational. It's a four door sedan. It's not a two door. Um, however, a lot of the commentary tonight stated that it might well be worth the $9,500 when you see it in person. When we look at the actual ad, uh, there's not much to fault about the car. Look at the door panel looks good. I mean, it doesn't look like there's any rust where the hinges are. The dashboard's not cracked. The dashboard's all intact, all the original equipment's in the car. It's got a good stance. The bumpers look beautiful. Um, even the rubber around the bumper doesn't look like it's faded. So, you know, 47,000 miles, the original rims. It might be the original tires or, you know, so you, you probably have to expense tires if those tires are old. But um, I'm not seeing any visible rust. I'm not seeing any wear and tear on the inside of the car. Uh, original Delco radio, which is pretty cool. I'm sure the air conditioning probably doesn't work by now. Uh, the bench seats look nice, maybe a little faded on the bench seat, but I'm being very picky, you know, but the carpet looks beautiful. So it's an honest car, folks. I mean, it's a uh, look at that. I love the I love the uh, clock in the uh, dashboard here on the drive on the passenger side. I think that's really cool. Um, they ride really, really nice. They, 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 they are very comfortable, very isolated cars on the road but it's a more modern platform. So the car does perform pretty well. Um, and that's the bigger of the engines too, the 403 V8. Well, that's about wraps up today's Daily Classics top picks. Um, you know, basically we have our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to this channel as well. Uh, if you get a chance, please share this YouTube channel with people that love cars. Uh, that's also helpful. And uh, if you would like to go to our Daily Classics uh, page, you can just type in dailyclassics.org and that will take you to our Daily Classics Facebook page and you can join in the conversations uh, we have each day. You know, we already have nine comments on the Porsche 914. You can read up about that car as well. So, but thank you very much for joining us tonight. I appreciate seeing you all and uh, we'll be doing this every day and uh, summing up all the cars we find each day, which is normally about three, four or five cars each day. So, uh, you know, sometimes it's two, sometimes it's five. But again, you look at a thousand cars a day and only pick up five. There's a lot of really bad stuff out there. So we try to find the best ones. That's it. Have a good night and thank you for joining us.